guys, I am back with another video and today's video is going to be a book haul. Um, I have finally gotten back into reading. I used to read a lot um, and for whatever reason I just got into a reading slump and I just stopped reading for a while but now I'm back into it and I've been ordering some books off of Booktopia and I'm loving it. So for those of you who don't live in Australia, Booktopia is Australia's book online bookstore i guess you could say it's similar to like amazon or the book depository um but book um, booktopia only ships to australia and new zealand and it's been probably one of the more affordable places that i buy my books from um and the good thing is is they offer afterpay uh so afterpay is where you buy something and you pay like you get the item straight away but you pay it off over four installments um so they do offer afterpay you do have to spend 80 dollars or more though to be able to use afterpay but let's be real here that's not hard with books um so let's get started actually i got two graphic novels well yeah i guess you could call them graphic novels um and i don't normally read graphic novels but i have gotten into them all lately so i bought this um one here it's called uh superbia and they i actually have read both of these um these are about like the superheroes wives and girlfriends so you've got the superheroes here and then like these are their wives but it's not like your normal superheroes like batman superman and all that sort of thing they're different um, but they live in a neighborhood called superbia which is just for supers and their wives and families like and children and all that sort of stuff um and there is um i like them like they weren't the best uh books in the world that i've ever read but like i actually do quite like them there are i think two more in the series that i need to get um but this is the first one and they just they they're short like you know it's nothing like crazy special but i really liked it i think they were really good um there is a um what do you call it like if you don't like affairs there is an affair in this um there is a male male relationship as well which is what the affirm like what happens with the affair um in in this uh, so if you're not like if you don't like the whole idea of an affair maybe this is not for you but there is a male-male relationship in this. Um, and same with this one. This is the second one in the series. This is um, Power Couples, I think it's called. Um, no. Sorry, the first one was called Power Couples. This one's called The Villain Next Door. Um, so this is one of the girlfriends, and she used to be a villain, and she is now dating a superhero. And she is trying to prove that she is no longer a villain. Um, and the male male relationship does continue on in this book as well. So that's those two. Moving on to the next one. I have become obsessed with Jenny Colgan books. Um, I do own a couple of her books. And I really just like her writing style. It's just so easy and just light and fun to read. And her, um, like, these types of ones with, like, the bakery shops and chocolate shops and stuff like that come with recipes. And I just think that's amazing. Um, so this one here is the loveliest chocolate shop in Paris. And let's say, like, the covers are always so beautiful. And this is about, um, I guess a woman who I think she used to live in England and yeah she lived in England and then she goes to Paris to open a chocolate shop or work in a chocolate shop um I'm not 100% sure what it's about because I've never read it but it does have in the back of it recipes and I am like super excited to try those so there is that one now the rest of the books are all Christmas books like I know it's early but I like to get in quick because Christmas books sell up pretty fast the closer you get to Christmas so the first one here is Christmas at Lilac Cottage by Holly Martin and this cover is beautiful I love the little cottage um so this one here um 
I'm not entirely sure what it's about. I'll just read the back of it. So it just says that Penny Meadows loves her cozy cottage with its stunning views over the snow-topped town of a white cliff bay. But not even the roaring log fire can keep her heart from feeling frozen. That is until dashing Henry and his daughter Daisy arrive for the festive season. And between decking the halls and baking delicious mince pies, Penny realizes there is more to Henry than meets the eye. The sleigh bells ringing and fairy lights twinkling, the Christmas Eve bowl is in full swing. Well, Penny, will Penny be able to melt the ice and allow love into her heart? And will she finally have the perfect Christmas she's been dreaming of? And to be perfectly real with you, I feel like this is a Hallmark movie. I feel like I've seen a Hallmark movie that is exactly like this story it's probably a whole bunk movie but i just thought it was really cute and i decided to get it so there's that one the next one is meet me under the mistletoe by abby clements again super cute cover and then this one here um is um I'm so bad at this. I forget what this one's about. I'll just read the back to you. Childhood friends Larry and Rachel used to be inseparable. Now 35, they have all but fallen out of touch. Glamorous single girl Larry is based in London and dedicated to her career in fashion. Rachel seemingly living the family idol in Yorkshire. But when Rachel's, mother, Rachel's mother-in-law needs urgent treatment in London, in disasters at work and in her love life, me Laurie needs to flee a house swap falls in the place. Soon, gentle Rachel is braving the city's mean streets while trying to keep her marriage and family together, while Laurie attempts to befriend the wary village locals and forget the man who seems intent on breaking her heart. So I feel like that's a good one, a house swap one. Uh, actually, I feel like Debbie McComa did a house swap um, book as well, which was a hallmark movie as well by the way i love hallmark movies we don't get them here in australia um sometimes i call on netflix but you don't like we don't have the hallmark channel here in australia how stupid is that okay the next one is the cozy christmas chocolate shop um this one is by caroline roberts this is a very similar concept to the jenny colgan book i showed you just before again beautiful covers i'm not gonna totally like like lie to you guys i cover by the shit out of my books so i'm always attracted to pretty covers more than an ugly cover um so this one um she does actually have other books as well that she writes so she's got like um these ones here the cozy tea shop in the castle and the cozy christmas tea shop which i think is really cool as well i haven't read these but i've heard really good things about them uh, but emma is the owner of a chocolate shop and it's um by the sea um in england that most of these books are always in 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 England, and um, I'm pretty sure she decides to um, like busy herself with like cooking, and she has um, like all of her favorite like Christmas recipes and everything that she likes to make for her um, like her little chocolate shop. But the landlord of the shop that she runs is threatening to i think increase the rent or sell it or something like that and then like the whole village come together to try and support her to help her keep her store so i just thought that was really cute and it's based at christmas time and that's just like my favorite time of the year and then my next book i have here is with love at christmas by carol matthews i love carol matthews books as well um, i haven't read a lot of them but i've read a few of them and like you can already tell what my aesthetic and books are. I just really like them. Um, and let's be real here. That dog down the bottom is what totally drew me into this book. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so Juliet Joyce um, is like a Christmas holic like me. Um, and so she does like the decorating and the cooking and, and all the little things that, you know, they do for Christmas. And then um, I guess it's about like her trying to put together like a nice family Christmas and then like her son is out of work and he's bringing home heaps of like I don't want to say trashy girls because that's a terrible thing but just I guess girls that his mum doesn't approve of because he's just 
sleeping around and not doing anything if that makes sense because like I don't want to label a girl as trashy because I just think that's stupid um but like unsuitable partners let's put it that way and then her daughter is pregnant and she moves back home with her also I think she has a little boy and she moves back home and then um her father has been um I guess is getting over a breakup and then her mother is behaving like weird and just like it's about just a typical family Christmas so it's like uh Julia it's just basically about Julia navigating like Christmas with all of the things that you know generally happen in families like fights and things and just family arguments and all sorts of things and I just think that that one um would be a good read as well because let's be real here Christmas time for whatever reason brings the worst out of people (laughs) Um, and then my last book I have is Christmas in the Snow by Karen Swan. Um, I saw this one. Um, who did I see it? Oh, I can't think of who it was. I think it might have been the candy show. Like um, candy. Off of the candy show on um, YouTube that I, I think I saw her read this and said that it was a good book but obviously it's a Christmas book I love Christmas books um so this one is about Allegra I'm pretty sure this one's based in London yeah London up the top there um so I guess Allegra is like supposed to be doing like a pitch for her job and it's like super super important so she can't fail and then, um, so basically, um, Allegra meets this guy, I guess, on the plane, and she decides to shut off her emotions because, like, um, something happened to her in her past that she doesn't, I guess, want to revisit or something like that. And so she decides to focus all of her time and energy on this big pitch for her job. And then she finds out that the guy that she meets on the plane is the guy that she's competing against for this for this this deal, I guess. And so she has to go to the Swiss Alps and there is a um that finds out like there's like a hut that she ends up having to go to. Um and this hut was like I guess buried in the snow and It was discovered after like 60 years and there's like a woman that was discovered and so she goes there to figure out what needs to be done and then she finds out that um, basically that she's kind of linked to whatever's happening with this hut and like this mysterious hut in the mountains and she goes there to I guess discover things and then I guess uncover secrets and things like that so I mean I'm really terrible at explaining what this is like but I just thought it was sounded like really fun and just different and yeah and like it starts off in London and then it it ends up in the Swiss Alps like come on guys like how could you not like this video video oh my god how could you not like this book (laughs) so anyway guys that was it like that was all of my books um I do have another order coming through I have discovered that I love cozy mystery reads um they're amazing so I have a bunch of those coming so I will do um another video with those soon I'm actually waiting on um I got I think I, I can't remember exactly. I think I bought about eight books and all of them came except for two because two were on back order, which was fine because it, it only took like an extra week and they're coming today. So I'm so excited and I will do a video on those as well so that you guys can see it because one of the books I'm so excited for um, because it's definitely a perfect fit for Halloween. So Anyway, guys, tell me what you think. Have you read any of these books? If you have, let me know what you thought of them. I really, really love discussing books with people. I think reading is such a like a big part um, of just, I guess, learning things and like 
discovering things about yourself and other things and I just think books are such an important part of life so definitely 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 tell me what you think of these books or if you have a book that you think that I would like that's similar to like these types of books let me know I would appreciate it anyway guys I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys later bye